So Katie, let's start with a few words about you. Uh, let's share a little bit about where you are, what you do, just a little bit about yourself. I live in Colorado Springs, Colorado in the U.S., and I am involved with a direct sales company. I've been with them 21 years, and wow. um, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of one of those things, though, where it's like you've been doing that and growing very consistently, but it was like I knew I needed to take the next step. Mm -hmm. So thankful that I did that. So Katie is with a lovely company called Senegens, and uh, I personally came across their lipsticks with their like non-smudge lipsticks, <laughs> and I can't live without them. Uh, so yeah, and uh, we've had such a beautiful journey together with Katie as well. So highly recommend Senegens with lipsticks. Thank you. Thank you for that plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katie, you want to share a little bit about uh, your family? Yeah, how many? Like how many do you have in your family? Oh my gosh. Well. I have three daughters. They're all grown now from 27 to 21. I started my business when my youngest was in a carrier, like she oh was God. teeny tiny and was with me at events. It was so funny to look back now. Um, I'm married and um, I hike every weekend. Like I'm dying to get out right now because it's, I don't know how much longer we have the sunshine and <laughs> so I'm an avid hiker and kayaker and like just living a dream life really honestly right now so uh, doing everything I can to get out in nature so, and connect so, and you're inspiring other women to do the same so. yes I am yeah okay Katie so tell us a little bit about what was going on for you when we met and what inspired you to join us in the mentorship you know it's really interesting because after 21 years of being educated the way my company shared training with us what they wanted us to know and I always invested in myself in additional training as well but what was unique at the time I was really like I've just been so consistent I don't want to be consistent anymore I want to like move faster and get there easier and like I just I have big things in my head of what I wanted to do and I was contemplating another coaching program at the time you know, finished a long weekend and they made their sales pitch at the end. But I just had this odd feeling and I was really struggling with, do I invest in this program? And I had a conversation with my husband and we came to the realization of like, you know, those things, you just need to do those things. And it was a really weird, like, yeah, I really do know what to do. Yeah. To be successful in this business. But for some reason, I wasn't taking motivated action towards doing it. It's like I knew it. Mm -hmm. So someone else in my company recommended that I connect with you in one of these week um, training events. And then when, you know, it came to the end and I was like, oh, that felt right on every level. That was like the missing piece. That was the, oh my gosh, yes, I know that I have goosebumps now. It's like, I know the things. But I really, the whole mindset piece and knowing that I was capable of making these, doing the things, mm. that was like life-changing. And I didn't really even have to think very hard. It was like the other decision was really, I was, it didn't sit right. And then when it came time to consider your program, it was like, no, this is something I need to invest in myself in. Beautiful. Beautiful. We all know. We just don't always listen, right? We all know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a feeling within us what's right for us. It's just that the mind sometimes makes it a little bit uncomfortable to make a decision. So, um, so Katie, let's go through your biggest wins so far. What's changed for you? Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm unstoppable now. Like I really do. And you know, continuing the program has, it's one step at a time, but you start to build the confidence in yourself. And so when I started, um, I was just, I know you're going to be so proud of me to get some numbers, numbers? but <laughs> numbers. <laughs> I am not a numbers girl yet, but I do look at them now and I do, <laughs> remember, but, um, when I was just looking at some awards, we get recognized on stage yeah. for different things. And I've been in the top 1% of my company for quite a while now. But in 2001, before the program, I was 181 in personal sales. I sold like $30,000 in sales that year. 
And in 2023, I was number 59. Ooh. Over, yeah, over $60,000 in personal sales. I love that. Yeah, that was like, when I looked at those numbers, I was like, oh gosh, it's sitting right there in front of me on these awards. And that was like a, a real change. And already I'm almost to that goal and ready to surpass it. My goal is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Sponsoring. So in my business, it's not only the sales that I contribute, but also building a team and teaching my team to be successful. I have a lot of people on my team who aren't really you know, doing a lot with their business, but I also have some people who are really ready to grow their business. And I think watching me, it's inspiring them. And now I have the confidence to talk to people differently than I did before. And so um, looking at those numbers in 2022, yeah. I was number 58 in sponsoring. Mm -hmm. And I brought in 20, um, successful like they you know weren't just signing up and but they actually built a business started a business, business builders 20 business builders right 20 and in, in last year I was recognized number 33 in the company with 29 and my goal this year is 40 and I'm at 15 right now so our year is half so we I still have six months six and a half months to go so I'm pretty excited on where it's going and I feel like it's given me the confidence to not only trust in myself and trust the process and trust my mind, but also the clarity of where I want to go. And I'm able to make decisions based on that clarity. I know where I'm going now. It's so clear that vision, my, like, I know where I'm going. So now I'm making choices based on that. I can set boundaries. I don't have to attend everything that I used to attend. I don't have to you know, I get to make choices every day that align with where I'm going. Feels really good now. Oh, yeah. And I, I, know. I think you really like you designed and reconnected with your purpose. Yes. Which is like yours, like you're even different to yourself a month ago. You're different. Yes. Um, will we tell them a little secret? Katie just joined Millionaire Mastermind. That's another and, uh, <laughs> and I will tell you though, even that I, you know, the little identity things pop up. Should I be in this group? This group is like, oh my gosh, these people have huge goals. And then I'm like, no, I definitely deserve to be here. And I know this is, oh my gosh, I just, I'm so glad I made that connection and and decision definitely I just I just love watching you. You're a different woman in within just like a couple of weeks. You're so like driven and you know this is what happens when you when you achieve certain level in the business it's easy to plateau you know you're like I can so relate to where you were because I was also consistent like for a long period of time but I wanted to grow I wanted to do better mm -hmm. and it's all about setting bigger goals bigger goals that really drive us so for me that was the house last year for you you have wonderful oh goals wonderful goals right now so Katie, tell me a little bit about um, like what has changed for you uh, in you, like we, we were talking about identity. So, you know, you doubled your business, you are flying, like you're not no longer sitting in the same place, you're just like doubling and tripling. And what is um, the change about you? What's the biggest difference about you and how you are? Yeah. Well, no more, I'm not questioning what to do or where to do it or how to do it. It's like, no, I, it's here. I know. And I'm taking action. I think that's a big thing. You know, I was, I was recognized on stage for being consistent and I was like, I'm done. You actually said something to me that really hit me. And I don't know if you know, but you said you're 60 years old, if not now, when? And I was like, yes, why am I saying someday I want to do this? It's like, no, right now, right now. Yeah. And I'm, I have goosebumps because I just feel like the choices I'm making and where I spend my time, how I spend my time, who I spend my time with, it's all aligned with my passion, my purpose, my vision. And, um, like I, I trust myself. I know I can do these things that I'm like, Oh, I wonder if I should do that. Or, Oh, that'd be really cool. Or 
it's like, no, mm, I'm doing I'm, it. I'm, I'm going to make an impact in the world. And there are people will be going, oh my gosh, she has such great energy. Oh my gosh. I just want to be around her. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that now. So good. And that was a little risky business to say something like that. <laughs> but I know. I'm, I'm, I know. Glad I <laughs> I'm glad I said it because, you know, like you have done, uh, I know that when you started thinking into results, it was just before turning 60, right? You had a dream mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you were like, I want to make a change on my birthday. I want things to be moving. And what really inspires me about you, uh, Katie, is like, you're not someone who is the typical 60 year old who, uh, you know, like, I'm just going to wind down now. I'm going to retire and get sick and whatever. No, you're someone who literally like constantly has some beautiful new goal purpose you're driven you want to inspire women all over the world you literally live an inspirational life you know your lifestyle like I was just watching I, I shared with you just a minute ago I was watching your reels and your reels like you know reels that a 20 year old would do and I'm like game on Katie this is how 60 year olds should live full yeah. of life enjoying and I know what you're creating, you know, you're showing people that you can live your life to the fullest, you can travel the world with your family, you can work from home, location free, be healthy, be vibrant, be alive, any age, there is no like limitation, 40, 50, 60, you can just start out. <laughs> right. You so know, and I think one of the things that you, you're saying, like, these are all my goals, I'm very driven, but it's different now. It's not I need to, I need to do this. And no, it's not with pressure. It's yeah. comfort and ease. And I just, it's flowing and it feels right. And I'm not pressured to do more because I have to do this. It's, it's like, no, I want to impact the world. I want to there. I have, I am impacting the world. I am making a difference. I am and I'm traveling and enjoying it while I'm doing the things that I want to do with my family and the new adventures. And I don't want to be a 60 or anybody. I don't want to just sit there on the couch and watch TV. I have a lot. I want to experience myself and I want to create that for other people. So Love it's it. just a different way of driving myself now. And it feels way better and mm -hmm. way more exciting. Yeah. yeah, I I'm excited to get up every morning because there are things uh, that I'm doing that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So yeah. good. So good. We should like make a difference in the world. Katie, you're going to like help millions of people. I just know that you are already, but like it's just going to blow up now. Uh, so, Katie, when you were making the decision to invest in yourself with me, was there anything in the way? Was there anything mm -hmm. stopping you? And how did you do the right thing? You know, it's funny looking back because that was a year ago. Well, not even a year ago. That was December, I think, is when I when I joined TIR. And I, you know, it was like, I told you, I've invested in myself for all kinds of coaching, all kinds of motivate, all kinds of things. And so it was like, there was that question, am I putting money in something that I'm just not going to do or that's not going to make a big enough difference? So I really played with that a lot. It, it is, and I get that, you know, there is a cost when you put the money out there, things shift inside. And I was nervous about that. Like, well, you know, I, how am I going to pay this back? Where am I going to get the money? What all those things came into my mind. But then when I looked at it, I was like, all right, I don't want to waste time anymore. I want to do this faster and easier you know, my, I used to always say work hard, play hard. And, and I have switched that to, yeah, play harder, but like work now, I can't even Enjoy figure yourself. it. Enjoy yeah. Yourself. Yeah. And work. Just, yeah. Yes. It's just so much easier now. And, and I enjoy every minute of what I'm doing and I'm learning how to delegate a few things too, but, um, <laughs> you know, it was a very difficult decision and I really had to think on it. But then when you break it up over the time and you look at, but when I hit that goal, when that shows up in my life, because I've hit it in here now, when it shows up, then it's worth every bit of it. So I'm yeah. invested and 
I love it. I, I mean, just going to bed with Bob Proctor in my head every day was a really good thing for a while. <laughs> oh, so good. Now you have your dreams in your head when you go to bed. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay. And um, so we have like, you know, next few days is like the decision making time. We have special offer and we have a bunch of participants making their decision. It's a life changing decision, as we know. And we know things can get in the way, whether it's con concerns, circumstances, could be uh, environment, what would you, what would be some words of wisdom that you would suggest to make the best decision for, for the participants and their businesses? Well, one thing for me was how long have I been where I was? Mm -hmm. Do I want to do it slow and test out all these other ways? Or do I just want to make this happen faster, easier, with the confidence that I'm with someone who knows what they're doing? there's proof. Like I've seen, I see your house. I see those pictures of that house. I will be in that house. You'll be so, there? <laughs> yes. Ah. So yeah, just take the time. I just spent this yesterday out in the mountains with a pen and paper and really thinking what I want, what is that vision that I have and get clear where you want to go. If you're that excited and you really believe in what you're doing and the impact it can make, then don't you deserve to make that choice faster or, you know, are you just going to keep being consistent and just grow gradually? So yeah, it's made a huge difference in my life and my family's life. Like mm -hmm. I, my whole family is thinking differently than we had before. So Beautiful. thank you. <laughs> my pleasure, Katie. And thank you so much for sharing all this. Uh, well, listen, guys, I think I don't need to add anything. Uh, what Katie shared at the end just ask yourself how long you've wanted your goal and are you going to make it your reality in the next six to 12 months or is it just going to keep being a dream? You know, that was the same for me. Um, I was dreaming about my uh, villa for three years and it was only when I decided like a firm decision in the next six, 12 months, I'm having it. This is no longer going to be my vision board dream. I'm having it. Mm -hmm. And then the next question was, okay, do I need to hire somebody? Because for me, like even when I reached certain level in my business, I knew that I can have a dream home in my dream, but I can get sucked into the business and not do that at all. And so that's why I hired my mentor to number one, show me the easy way because she's already done it. Uh, to make sure that I stay accountable and to make sure that I actually do achieve my goal. So if you guys are ready, the link is in the description and we are looking to seeing you on the other side. You get to hang out with people like Katie, like me, you cannot fail. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. And we will see you tomorrow for the info session. Katie, don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs>